Hey guys, I'm going to teach you how to have Word and uh, web page open at the same time so you can view two things at the same time on your iPad. So it's actually not Word itself, but you're going to see that you can take notes at the same time as having your web page open. So that's this app right here. It's called Paper Helper. So it does, it is a little bit glitchy when you copy and paste stuff, but other than that, it's pretty good. So as you can see, my left hand side, if I just tap anywhere there, okay, um, so let's say tap here, I can keep taking notes from what I see on my right hand side, which is something that I just wrote down in Wikipedia, I wrote down history, this is what I got from history, okay, so you could take down notes or you can just copy and paste stuff. Now that's where the glitchy part comes with this app, okay, um, now let's say I paste it here, okay. There we go. So once I paste it, if I want to click somewhere, okay, tap on somewhere and continue writing, that's when it gets glitchy at times. Right now it worked fine, but sometimes it just won't want to, uh, it won't let you tap uh, where you want to tap, okay? Um, so if it does that, okay, you just have to click here, tap here on the side where it says arrows. That'll bring the full page, okay? So if you just want to see, um, a web page or just this you can so you can put full view for the web page or full view for this or have them both at the same time which is something we want to look at but once you're done you're probably gonna bring it to full page or if you're having these problems you're gonna bring it to full page and then you can tap anywhere where you want to be left off okay and then you can take up from there okay so same thing once you click on somewhere okay once you tap on somewhere that you copy and paste it it won't let you drag up and down like I'm doing right now okay this part that I tap right here you just won't let me scroll down or up okay that happens only with stuff that you copy and paste so it's not that great as for copy and pasting it, that's a little glitch that they have and they still have to fix it other than that that's pretty good you can take down notes like I said so I can tap here and keep taking notes, keep reading here, okay. Um, same thing for the right hand side, so that's another little glitch, okay, sorry about that. But you guys do have to click here on full view, okay. So we're just going to tap there, full view, and we're going to scroll down. So we're actually going to scroll all the way down. Then we're just going to tap here again, just to view both pages. So once you do that, it's going to actually let you scroll down. So sometimes it does get stuck and it doesn't let you scroll down, but all you have to do is click on full view and then you're good to go. Okay. So don't worry guys, if you have that glitch, it's just a little glitch. Same thing. Um, don't make a huge document and then save it, save it along the way. So as you're making it, save it. Um, you can save it here various ways. So you do have your Dropbox, which is the most popular one. You can save it right here on the app itself, which I wouldn't since it's a little bit glitchy. I just don't trust it that much, but it's good anyways for what it's meant for. But other than that, just save it on your Dropbox. Um, export it to pages is quite good. If you have pages, you do want to do your final work on there. Uh, same thing for Microsoft Word, you do want to do your final work there. So this is for a more investigative type of way where you can copy and paste stuff and then just cite everything that you do, okay? So that's it for this tutorial. If you guys want me to do any tutorials on anything to do with that, Apple, um, iPads, iPhones, you can hit me up right here below in the comments area. Same thing if you have any problems, hit me up here in the comments area below. Don't forget to subscribe and rate, and thank you for watching.